Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Munchkin Reviews. It's a gloriously wet, soggy day here in Bonnie, Scotland. As per fucking usual. Oh jeez. I don't even think we had a proper summer this year actually. I think it's all been pretty miserable and wet and soggy. So today I am doing a review. And I'm doing a review on a piece of kit. And this kit is this. It's the Smock Nord 2 kit. Now, I tried the Nord 1 and I wasn't overly keen on it. Now, I don't usually like Nord kits like this. I'm not so... Well, I'm alright with the ones like this, but not so much this. Um, and I was usually feel there's enough power in them. So we're going to have a wee look at this today. We're going to go down on the table and I'm going to waffle about what I do know. Which is not a whole lot, because I'm learning and opening with you guys at the same time. And I'll have a wee puff on it and see how it goes. And then I'll probably leave it at that and then come back again and film after a few hours and see if there's, I've noticed any issues with it and things like that. Alright, so let's do that. And I'll see you down there. Alright. Alright folks, so here we are. You can see the front of this and it says smock. Nord 2 kit. Uh, it's got a Nord DC 0.8 ohms mouth, it's a long coil. So it's got an RPM mesh 0.4 ohms direct to long coil. Uh, back to the life that it says uh, 1500 ma. It's got variable wattage from 1 watts to 40 watts, and that's what it says right there. And you know, it says it's red stabilizing wood. If you zoom up a little bit. Oh, that way. Then that is what you'll be able to see there. Alright. And it's a Nord 2 kit. And there, where are you? That way. And you've got the scratchy bit there. And your bits and bobs there that lets you know that it is real indeed. And it says at the back here, let me try and sign myself up. Uh, Click includes. The kit includes one Nord 2 device, uh, one Nord 2 RPM pod uh, with the R RPM mesh 0.4 coil pre-installed, it's 4.5 mils. It's got the Nord 2 pod Nord DC 0. mouth to long coil pre-installed. Um, it's got the USB cable and one user manual and it's got usual safety devices, bits and bobs got on there. So we'll open up. Let's see what's in it. So take the little sleeve off there. Make sure my camera is zoomed in where it's supposed to be. There we go. So we've got a little bit there, you know, verification part. Got our manual, the bits and bulbs that you need to know. Save the instructions, blah blah blah. How to use the coils and all the rest of it. Right. That's that being done. It's got this one, so it's a quite a decent size on it. Um, I remember the last one, the last one it was a bit of a more of a dinky little thing. But this one's a, a fair size, yeah. So that's just your normal standard. I've got one that's quite, so a clear one there and a more darker one going on there. So there we go. It looks fairly standard though with your pod kits. Not really much to say about that really is there. So you got your tooth mouth bits there. Your two coils oh, I don't drop it. Your two coils are already installed. And this one here is your RPM mesh one. Best at 25 watts is your 0.4 one. So that's already in oh this one. Push that back in there. So that's where you put your coils there, you pop them in there. And and out. You've got your fill in bit right here, which <sighs> are fiddly as hell. Like the problem is with some of these ones, it's like they're so bloody fiddly and you can never get them open. So if you've not got nails you're pretty much screwed unless you've got a pair of scissors around you all the time. You know, and there's that one there, that's the most long one. That's the one that should be a bit better on the wattage. Yeah. Let's 
moved. Popping it back in there. And again, with the stupid filling system, it's... Ah, there we go. I can get that one open easy enough. So there you go, you open in this little bit right here. I'm going to show the camera a bit better. Where are we? You can see it in there. Ignore my nails. I do chew them to hell. So it's in there. You just pop it in and out. And that's one of the coils sitting there. That's the most to long one. Pretty standard. Not much. A whole load of cotton in there. You just pop it in that bit there. In your fiddly little fuller bobby bit. Alright, so, and there is uh, her piece of missing. So you see there's Nord 2 on there, 1500 miles. So, what's that supposed to be? A bit of something, a bit of tape on it anyway. Oh, alrighty. So we're taking that off now, we're doing that. <laughs> It's a fairly nice design with a uh, fairly nice design on it. So there we go. That's the screen on the side there. And you'll see that there. There we go. So there's nothing in it at the moment. Seventy eight percent battery on it. Flashing about there. So we'll stick one in. Maybe do this one, the mouth the long one. We'll stick some juice in it and we'll see what it's like on top. Alright. Alright, guys, so we're back up top and I'm just getting ready to fill this in. So we're just filling it in this little bit here. Fill it all up, I presume. I just with some Xenon there from Cyber Rabbit. It's lovely. Um, so we're just gonna pop this in like so. That seems to have thin because it's told me it's so sitting at so it's zero point eight eight. So we're gonna give it a few minutes um, just to let it the coil soak in the liquid and we'll see what the crack is then just do a bit. Right, so that should be a few minutes now. Um so I was a little bit looking about at it while I was basically waiting. Um the the one thing I've got to say so far, and this is without even trying it, is there's obviously no buttons apart from this one to set your wattage. So to set your wattage, you have to press the, your power button there and your vape button three times very quickly, which is three times apparently, just to set your wattage. And as you can see with all my clicking and fanning about, it's a bit hard. So once you do that, there we go, you see that there, alright? If I do that, you see that flash in. Have to, that is what you have to do. Yeah. So <laughs> these are supposed to be used within simplicity for simplicity. Very quick, very easy. If you're having to funny about with the button, and then it turns it off, and then it turns it back on, and then it's messing about with other settings, as opposed to the setting that you want, just to change the wattage. That's going to be a turn off for some people straight off the bat. It's already a turn off for me. Um, I'm that used to, you know, just, you know, pressing buttons. Yes. It's maybe a stupid thing to get a bit frustrated about, but it is going to be frustrating to other people out there. So anyway, I'm going to give it a shot and see what the flavour is like. And I give my final verdict, I suppose. Alrighty, here we go.
<coughs> Still getting over a cold. Don't take that to be this. <laughs> The flavour is nice. Um, I am getting quite a bit of the flavour actually, which is quite quite surprising, special for for a pod system kit. Um, it is there. It's really it, see, it's there. It's quite strong actually. It's all right. So far, okay. The flavour of it's actually really good. Once you get there, with the like the the coil getting used to it, obviously, um, it's, it's quite nice. It's I don't like these mouthpieces. See how you get those thin mouthpieces? I don't like those. I, I don't know what it is with those, but it's, they annoy the hell out of me. I think when you're that used to having like you know with your RCA tanks and things like that and having a mouthpiece mouse drip tip. I think we're used to that then when something like this is a bit weird it feels like I like a you trap the duck or something. <laughs> flavour's fine. The flavour's no bother. Um so what I'm gonna do is Gonna use it for a little while longer and see if I come up with any problems. I've gotta keep use keep up the weight and then see if any issues arise with the mouthpiece and any leakage and things like that. It's usual, you know. So we'll give that a shot. Hello guys and this is a few hours after um after opening the smock nord kit. Smock nord two kit. Um, as we're seeing here, um, it's been a few hours. Um, I've been vaping away on it, and so I've not had any leaking or anything like that, which has been good. Flavour is still there. Um, after fiddling about with it and things like that, um. In all honesty, if I was to compare it, if I was to compare it to the only other really kind of kit that I've got, which is kind of like little stock coils anyway, which would be this one. Um, if I was to compare it to this, then I th obviously every time I'm going to go to this. One being, it's got external batteries, um, which is always handier to have. The flavour off of that one, this one, <laughs> is um, a lot better. <coughs> it's also easier to control the wattage and things like that. I don't like with this that you have to fiddle a bit with the button to change the wattage. It is a pain in the bl blinking arms having to do that, I think. Um, that being said, for someone that's maybe start just starting off, getting off the stinkies and things like that, do I see it as a possibility? Then yeah, you know. I think it'd probably be enough with the right liquid. And next strength. But there is a decent amount of flavour there. Obviously, as you know, when you've, but once you've been, you've been into like you know rebuildables and things like that, then it's you know it, it's it's just another pod kit. And pod kits do have their place. They do have their their market and things like that, especially for people that are just giving up the stinkies and that's the main thing is to get people off the stinkies and even if it is something onto this I could probably recommend it to someone um, for the flavour and things like that which is fine, it is easy enough to fill up you know, and you know, it's a decent sized little refillable bit. It is decent sized. You know, 
and I've only filled it up once since I started using it. There hasn't been any condensation and things in there, which um, can be quite common with these types of kits. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's good for a pod. It's good for a pod. It's, you know, you just slip that in your pocket and you wiggle. You wouldn't even notice you're bloody feeling it in your pocket. It is quite light. It's a bit heavier than other pockets I've felt, but it is, you know, it's light. It's fairly, feels fairly sturdy and things like that. Um, and like I said, the flavours, the flavour's there. The flavour is there. As far as flavour, it's better than any other pocket I've tasted as far as or used even as far as any as far as liquid is concerned. Um the flavour is actually quite good. It's just that watish thing, it would annoy the hell out of me. It would annoy the hell out of me having to fiddle a bit of buttons to do that. I prefer just having the very simple buttons of up and down and then that's it done. <coughs> that would be a bit more simpler. I think I think people people might find that too finicky to be messing about with the buttons and if it went on and off and all the rest of it then that would just drive me bananas. Um, but as far as a pod get, yeah, it's decent, it's alright. Um, so there you have it, that's my opinion on that little pod get. Um, I have got a update on the Drag Refresh 2 coming out as well, um, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you guys at our time. Alright, see you later. Bye!